Hello, YouTubers. Joe Kersey here on Wednesday, June 4th, 2014 at 1040 in the morning, Eastern Daylight Time. And after the morning I've had, I think it's time for a little snort. Now, as you see from the title of this, Joe does an underwear review. Um, for my straight viewers, you know, you might want to watch this because this will be of interest to you. And to my gay viewers, be still your hearts. No, I'm not going to model the underwear. However, I will say that since I've lost 40 pounds here over the last couple of years, you know, I don't look half bad in them. Said he. Really, I will say that that's... Uh, I uh, had, had a lot of secondary benefits in you know pretty much every area of my life. Well, enough about that. Now, to today's adventure, uh, a few weeks ago, I bought this product here. Um, Fruit of Loom Boxer Briefs Low Rise Collection in size medium. And it specifies medium as being 34 to 36 inches. Fine. Bottom. Fit me great. Loved them. You know, all the things a guy looks for in a pair of underwear. All cotton. Well, except for a couple of these things have a little bit of polyester in them that, you know, the, the, the Heather does. And I unwittingly bought some of the stripe that were, you know, like 75, 25. I really don't like encasing my body, particularly that part of my body, in petroleum products, of which polyester is one. But it was 75 cotton, 25 polyester. Yeah, okay. Learning, learning experience. Great product. So I said to myself, self, you need to go you need to go buy some more of these before these sons of bitches could <laughs> discontinue them. Well, so next week I went back over to Walmart, and sure enough, gone. I mean, nothing. You can't, you can't find this. You can't find this. So then I went online, and I looked around. I went to the Fruit of the Loom website. I went to, uh, you know, search, search, did a general search, and, you know, there there was some, you know, stuff. There was some stuff at Target, and there was some stuff at Walmart. But, but actually, none of the stuff. Uh, well, that's. I take that back. Oh, well, I was finally able to find some on Amazon. The low, the low rise. Freeze. No, I'm thinking of something else. No, I couldn't find these at all online. What I did find was a product that they called. And this, this is a word that should strike fear into any consumer's heart. New and improved. Well, I, uh, yesterday I bought the bullet, or I bit the bullet. Well, I, I bought it too, as it turns out. Um, and I ended up uh, going over to Walmart. And uh, I'd, I'd show you the original package. Uh, but hang on, I'll, I'll just show you, I'll just show you uh, one of the things I bought while I describe it. Now, I, uh, I'll show you, I'll show you what I ended up buying. And it, it was in a, it was in a package, you know, I'll, I'll cover up the size on this. Well, no, I won't, I'll show you. This, this is what I bought today, as we, you know, after the problem was sort of, well, sorted out, but not solved. Notice, notice it says, new and improved, enlarge, 36 to 38. Now, it's a shame I didn't save that, you know, well, because I, I took everything back. But what I didn't take back was, of course, the one pair that I had worn, because I didn't think they'd want those back. And, uh, see, here, here is, 
a pair of the low-rise boxer briefs. A product no longer available, by the way. You know, you'll notice, you know, look, you know, there's no tag in the back. It's a nice, smooth waistband, you know. You know, I'll tell you, these are some of the most comfortable, fine things I've ever worn. So, with that in mind, I, you know, I, I picked up one of these new and improved ones. And, it, you know, in medium. Because this, you know, because, because these were in medium. You know, and I didn't really, you know, it's a medium. I didn't, you know, go back and read the fine print. Hell, you're buying underwear. Medium. But apparently, Fruit of the Loom changed their sizing scale to that, to, well, you know, to the same sizing, sizing scale that Haynes has. In other words, Haynes's medium is 32-34. Fruit of the Loom's is now, now, 32-34, and yes, it's on yes, it's on the package. I should have noticed it. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm, I'm, I'm being a bit disingenuous here. I did notice it, but quite honestly, I couldn't quite remember you know, the details. And I thought, well, you know, sizes are always odd. You know, since, you know, all this stuff's made over in Southeast Asia somewhere, and those people have different... They, they, they're just different... They have a different sense of size than we do, and that's just the way it is. And that's not racist, that's not racial, that's just an observation of human behavior. Um, so, uh, good product, no longer available. And so I got this product, which is the, the, the medium of the new and improved. And, and you'll notice it's, you know, it's got a lot of the same features, nice smooth waistband, you know, it's not going to, you know, it, it, it's not one of these things that rolls over, you know, and, you know, it's still relatively low rise. It, it, you know, it's, you know if, you, if you ever tried to get this thing above your navel or even halfway to your navel, you'd have to possibly seriously injure yourself, you know, but, um. But it was just too—it was just too small. It's obviously it's, it's just too small. I mean, it, I I can wear them. I I wore them, you know, yesterday afternoon and evening, and and it's just you know it's they're not uncomfortably tight. They're just too tight. And I know after I wash them, they are going to then be uncomfortably tight, and too tight. But it's cotton; it shrinks a bit. They it always does. Um. So I thought, well. These bad boys have got to go back. Well, see, I, I had bought two, two five packs for, thir you know, $14 a piece, you know. So I said, I just can't. I'm not going to eat $28. So, um, so I, had to, I had to do a couple of other errands this morning anyway. So I, so I duly, duly went out on my errands. And just as I arrived at Walmart, I realized I had actually failed to bring the products I was returning. And that's that's just such a standard Joe Joe tactic. It really is. Uh, well, it's gotta be done. We gotta take care of this today. So I you know I went to the bank and I went back home, I retrieved the stuff, went back to Walmart. And and return these things, and yeah, you know, they were nice. I mean, there's no question. Fine, you know, credited my credit card and that sort of thing. So, I went and I had to. There are a couple of items I wanted to buy there at Walmart. I mean, I wanted to buy my monthly donation to Pin, the food donation to Pin. So I did that, and then, and then I went over and I looked at uh, at uh, these things here, uh, and I thought, well. You know, rather, you know, it, it says 36, 38. Now, that's going to be just a hair large. Well, you know, from an ideal, you know, new and improved. Well, at least it's, you know, at least it, it's still low rise, relatively low rise. That's fine. And um, legs don't ride up. I don't understand, you know, what that, what, what difference does it make the legs ride up? So, um. 
Well, uh, here is here is here is just you know to be complete. Here is the new and improved. And it's still you know it's, it's got all the features you know the nice waistband and all this kind of thing and uh, you know and it will shrink down a bit when I wash it obviously. So I can't. I, I can't say I'm displeased with this. I, I just I would rather have the thing in 3436 rather than 3638, and I certainly would rather have it rather than the 3234. Which even if I lose another 10, 10 pounds, I don't think I'm ever going to get down to that range. <laughs> you know, I I, you know, I I never I never was you know less than 36 anyway even I weighed like about you know 140 150 well 140 maybe but I mean that's not a healthy that was when I was sick <laughs> that was post-op post post chigella basin basilary dysentery. so uh, so I'm you know I I had you know obviously I had plenty of other underwear but I've I do, I do like, I do like these. I do like these. Uh, it's just too bad. It's like, well, you know, Procter and Gamble pulls this stunt a lot. You know, you get a good product out there that you like, and then about a year and a half, two years later, you can't find it because they've changed it. You know, the the real, the really bad thing with them is that they're shampoos. You know, you go down, you know, you want to buy something to wash your hair. I mean, I want something to just wash my, I just want to wash my hair. When I grew up, I used bar soap, and I didn't know any, you know, I, I didn't know any about shampoo. You used bar soap. You know, it's kind of a pain in the ass to rinse out, but you used bar soap. When I was in college, I used bar soap. You know, it wasn't until, it wasn't until I started living on my own that I realized, hey, you know, I could, I could buy something that's deliberately designed to wash hair. Well, you know, much like when I wash my clothes, I don't want I don't want things softened. I don't want things scented up. I don't want things fluffy. I just want them washed. You know, so you know, you go in these shampoos. It's like it's like you have to. It's like. Uh, it's it's probably like going into the one of the specimen rooms in the Smithsonian, you know, subcategory after subcategory of conditioners and white you know darkeners and whiteners and softeners and fluffinessers ers and and you know, it, you know and and very rarely do you stumble across something that just says. Shampoo, yeah. Without without some sort of you know all you know just just plain old shampoo. Yeah, yeah. It's not it's not going to do anything magic to your hair. It's just going to clean your hair. Well, there was a product. Procter and Gamble had a fine product a few years ago called Ivory Shampoo. Absolutely neutral in terms of smell. Didn't do any conditioning. Uh, and it was a fine product. And, you know, boy, I violated one of my cardinal rules of if you find a good product, go out and try to buy a 10-year supply because the sons of bitches are going to discontinue it. Well, and they did. Now, I was astonished that they discontinued something under the ivory name. Here's a, here's a brand that's been around, you know, since the late 1890s. The late 1890s. Now, admittedly, not, not the shampoo. Not the shampoo. The bar soap. Excellent product, the bar soap. You know, and I hope they don't, you know, decide to do some sort of new Coke stunt and change it. But I, I do have a 10-year supply of that laid in, by the way. Because I... Yeah, you know, I don't trust these guys. So, uh, so they discontinued it, and so you know what they replaced it with was uh, 
Pantene. Well, you know, actually they replaced it with one little sub-variety of Pantene. Which takes you a damn good long time searching the aisles to find, I'll tell you. I wish they'd stop doing that. I just really wish they'd stop doing that. You know, it's just... I mean, I, I can't I can't think that that actually, you know, is is economically beneficial to the company and its their shareholder. I just, you know, it just doesn't... I would think that would turn people off. I know it turns me off. You know, admittedly, you know, they're, they sort of run the only game in town on a lot of these things, you know. Because a lot of the other companies' products are even more smelly and stinkier and, you know, feel like you're dipping your head into a vat of hydrocarbons and that kind of stuff. So. Well, I guess this underwear review has morphed into a bit of a shampoo review. That, that tends to happen around here from time to time. Well, I think I've talked about the vagaries of some of our fine consumer products companies here. Oh, I didn't review the final one. So I thought, you know, Paul Paul likes to wear Hanes underwear. Now, you know, essentially Fruit of the Loom's gone to the Hanes sizing chart. You know, in other words, you know, Paul wears a medium, and that's 32, 34, but that's in Hanes. See, that's that's been that's been the case with Hanes for a long time. Um Actually, when Paul and I first met, I noticed he was wearing Hanes. I thought, well, hell, I'll give give you know them a try, and uh, I liked them, and I bought them for a while, and you know, and I decided, well, well, no, no. What happened then was I, I I started to get fat. So I had I had to move on anyway. <laughs> Yes, we try to be honest here on the Joe Kersey channel. And uh, so anyway, um, they, they too make boxer briefs. And indeed, as you can see, you know, they've got a nice, you know, waistband, very nice. I tried, them, I tried some on when I got home from the store. I did buy a pair. I did buy a set of these at Walmart today when I, you know, just. But I bought it in their large, which is 36, 38, because... They don't have an intermediate. You know, see, it goes 32, 34, and then jump, 36, 38. What they really need to have is a 32, 34 size in there somewhere, or a 34, 36 size in there. Hear that, Haynes? Hear that, Fruit of the Loom? <sighs> well, anyway, this... this this is that. It's actually kind of, you know, it's kind of spiffy. You, got, you have like a little racing stripe seam down the solid colors, which I thought might be, you know, a problem, you know, in terms of, you know, feeling it when you wear it. It's no problem. It's fine. Well, that, that, conclude, that, that concludes, that concludes today's underwear and inadvertent, but also included shampoo review. <laughs> well, let's just call it sort of consumer product company habits review. All right. Bye-bye, YouTubers. <laughs>